The beginning of uh, more concerts and that things will calm down and we can get back to it. The band has been all over the world. We've played over 500 concerts for the troops in the last 18 years. That's a lot of shows all around the world for the men and women who serve our country. You might think uh, sometimes that the rest of the country forgets about it, but we don't. We're a grateful nation. I'm a grateful American. And so many of us are grateful for patriots like Gary Sinise. The award-winning actor and humanitarian has long understood the sacrifice of America's brave service members and first responders. He's the son of a U.S. Navy veteran who served in the Korean War. And he, of course, tapped into the iconic role of Lieutenant Dan in the 1994 classic film Forrest Gump. Now he's leading a charge to give back to the defenders who have already given so much of themselves with the Gary Sinise Foundation. And he joins us now. Gary, it is such a thrill to have you here. Thank you for taking the time. Oh, thank you for having me. Great to be with you. Well, t tell us what inspired you to launch this foundation. Oh, gosh, uh, prob um, multiple things along the way. Of course, you mentioned uh, my dad serving in the Navy. He, his two brothers served in World War II. Their dad served in World War I in the Army. Veterans on my wife's side of the family. A lot of veterans around me. And uh, I got very involved with Vietnam veterans back in the 80s because uh, my wife's two brothers served in Vietnam, her sister's husband served in Vietnam. And I felt very badly for what happened to our Vietnam veterans. So post 9-11, when we started deploying to Iraq and Afghanistan, I just picked up the charge and I started volunteering for the USO and taking my band out and volunteering for uh, to support many different military nonprofits. On our website of the Gary Sinise Foundation, there's a list of probably 25, 30 nonprofits that I was supporting prior to launching my own foundation, which uh, I thought was the logical next step. Uh, I'm in this for good. It's a mission that I believe in. I think it's important, and it's something I feel very passionate about. Well, I, I was browsing your website earlier today, and it looks so rewarding. I see all the pictures, and everybody's got a big smile on their face. Uh, what an awesome uh, thing to do. And you talk about the veterans in your life. Uh, I'm the daughter of an Air Force veteran, the granddaughter of Army veterans. And I know as someone who's related to a lot of veterans, you probably heard a lot of their stories over the years. I hear a lot of my dad's stories all the time about his time serving in the Air Force. Talk to us about the work that you're doing uh, to pre preserve some of those stories. You know, Memorial Day is coming up. We remember our veterans veterans, those who've served. Uh, talk to us about, you know, what you've done with the World War II veterans and so forth and ensuring those stories uh, live on. There's, there's so much. Yeah, how many hours do you have? <laughs> to talk? Uh, well, one, one of the great things that I've been doing for several years now is the National Memorial Day concert on PBS. We, uh, we do the concert in front of the Capitol every year. I'm the co-host of the concert. Uh, it's coming up uh, this coming Sunday uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern on PBS. I co-host that with Joe Montaigne, and every year there are multiple stories of incredible service to our country by individuals that have taken up the charge to wear the uniform and defend us and who have sacrificed greatly in service to our country. Um, you mentioned World War II veterans, one of the programs at the Gary Sinise Foundation is taking World War II veterans down to the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. We've taken hundreds of World War II veterans there, and it's really exceptional to be able to travel with all these 95-year-old uh, gentlemen and, and ladies. And, and one of the great things about that program is that we pair them up with high school students. So a high school, a 16-year-old, will travel with a 95-year-old World War II veteran on the airplane all the way down to New Orleans, spend wow. time with them there, travel through the museum, and learn about World War II. I don't think we can ever do enough to, uh, to honor the men and women who have served our country in the past, and, and teaching new generations about service and sacrifice is very, very important. That's one of the things we do at the Gary Sinise Foundation. Well, you are so right about that, especially connecting those younger generations with uh, the greatest generation among others. And, you know, you talk a lot about your gratitude for being an American, which I think uh, these days is maybe missing a little bit in America right now. What are your thoughts on, on how we can restore that gratitude for what it means to be an American? 
Well, you know, every year, I think I think the National Memorial Day concert every year is just a, a great way for the nation to come together to pay tribute and salute and honor the sacrifices that have been made over the years to keep us safe and free. It's something that we all can share. Uh, you know, you, you know, whether you care about the, you know, agree with the war or not, or you, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't, you should always separate the warrior from the war. It's the, the, the defender is somebody that volunteers to serve our country and we owe them, I, I believe, because uh, freedom does not come free. It's, uh, it, it comes at a cost and people have sacrificed. So that particular concert to me, the reason I return every year is it, it's, it's just a beautiful way to say thank you and to remember. It's a, a Memorial uh, Day. Memorial Day is not just barbecues and, and, and volleyball. It's, right. <laughs> it's about the service. Yeah, it's not an acronym, MDW. It's Memorial Day. Uh, and, you know, Gary, before we go, I, want, I know a lot of our viewers are probably watching right now. They want to get involved. They want to help your foundation. Tell us how they can do that. Oh, absolutely. I, I encourage you to go to GarySiniseFoundation.org. Look at the YouTube channel. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage. You'll see the YouTube icon. Click on that. Watch the videos. They You showed some of the stuff there. Uh, there's so many different programs at the Gary Sinise Foundation serving multiple areas of need within the military and first responder communities. Uh, we need your help. Uh, we can always do a little more. With your help, we can do a lot more. Well, Gary Sinise, thank you so much for the great work that you do. Uh, thanks for being with us tonight, and I hope that you'll come back sometime soon. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.